Somebody, my soul, come on somebody, is anchored in the Lord. Is your soul like it in the Lord? Has your soul been anchored in the Lord? Come on somebody, give him your best praise. This is the day the Lord has made. Come on somebody, come on somebody, come on somebody. My soul has been lifted. My soul has been lifted. My soul. Come on, somebody. My soul. I got in. The Lord, come on, somebody, all over the church, just, just give him your best praise. All over the church, just, just give him your best praise, God. God, you did it again, God. You allowed us to see another Sunday. You allowed us to see grace and mercy. You allowed us to see, come on, somebody, my soul has been anchored in the lord i don't know about you i'm happy this morning somebody's name was called but they couldn't respond but here we are another sunday morning thanking the lord for grace and mercy my soul is anchored oh god in the lord in the lord you may be seated in the presence of the lord Amen, somebody. Thank you, Brother David. Amen, somebody. It's nothing like the spirit of the hymns of a gospel song that touches your soul. Thank you, Dr. Winston, the choir. Thank you, Sister Lisa, for the powerful prayer. Amen, somebody. Thank you, for Danita, for being our worship leader this morning amen somebody we say god bless you in the name of jesus every day above ground is a good day amen somebody i don't know about you but i have experienced uh the notifications of the death of almost five individuals of five families this week and and I say God touch them God heal them God cover them wipe their tears and take away all their fears let them know that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal it's the Lord's doing and is marvelous in his sight. Amen, somebody. And yet here we are, another Sunday, breath in our lungs. Amen, somebody. The, 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 the ability to tie our shoes. Our mind in perfect peace stayed on him. You do know that the mind is so fragile that you can lose it. But that God keeps us. Amen, somebody. That, that, that we don't take nothing and we should not take anything for granted. Amen, somebody. But it's by his grace, by his mercy, that he allows us to see another day. Not going to be before you long, but I am going to be strong. I want to thank God this morning for another appointment. Amen, somebody. 
after coming out of the 240th uh, 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 conference uh, led by our bishop, Bishop Easterling, that she thought it not robbery that, that she stayed the appointment, amen, of Brother Warren. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. I want to thank Brother Durrell, who's always, I call him my pastor. Amen, somebody. He keeps me on point. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. We were, we were thoroughly recognized and represented, amen, at the conference. Thank you for the presence of uh, Miss Liz Stemley. Amen, somebody. And Miss Sarah Ford in their respective places. Last Sunday, outside, it's warm in here, but outside in that sunny Sunday, some folk were in the shade and some of us were in the heat. We said that Bethlehem means God is with us. That Calvary means that God is for us. And that Pentecost means God in us, the Spirit in us. The book of Acts is a book that speaks of Jesus ascending to heaven, the Holy Spirit coming down out of heaven, and the church is given birth and sent out into the world to make disciples for the transformation of the world. The Holy Spirit is on us. It's in us. It's through us in spite of us. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. We are saved by grace through faith lest any man, any woman shall boast. Amen, somebody. Meaning that our salvation, we didn't do it on our own, but God's prevenient grace. Amen, somebody. Went before us and saw us before we saw ourselves. And when he went before us, before we saw ourselves, he creates what is called provision. Whenever you do something for the Lord, amen, somebody, he makes provisions for your life. Pro mean before. The Latin word uh, vision comes from the word video means to see. Meaning, therefore, that God saw you and I before we saw ourselves. Amen, somebody. And he still stood in. Amen, somebody, the gap. Last Sunday we said that Peter and John went up to the gate called Beautiful. There they saw a man uh, who was 40 years old, who was physically challenged. The Bible says crippled, but, but we say physically challenged. And he holds up his cup to Peter and John, who is on their way to church to pray. They look down on him, and they say, silver and gold, I have not. But such as I have, I give unto you. And they reached down, grabbed the man's arm, and lifted him up. It says, rise in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He began to walk. He began to leap, and he went into the church. Amen, somebody. Before we do anything, we ought to thank God for everything. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Before you, you can't and I can't think about God without thanking God. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries hallelujah for, for saving me when I couldn't save 
myself. Amen, somebody. When I think about him, I got to thank him. I, I thank him for a roof over my head. I thank him for shoes on my feet. I thank him for clothes on my back. I thank him for food in my refrigerator. I thank him for a reasonable portion of health and strength. I thank him for keeping my mind. What are you thankful for? Amen, somebody. Because oftentimes, Reggie, we take God for granted. We make him this celestial uh, uh, bellhop that, that, that we call, he, he's supposed to come when we call on him. Amen, somebody. No, 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 no. We, we as children of God, supposed to worship him. We're supposed to honor him. We're supposed to respect him. Amen, somebody. For in him we have our being. Amen, somebody. And we live in a world today where uh, uh, folk come to church and do whatever they want. Say whatever they want. Twist this Bible around to make it sound like whatever they want. Amen, somebody. But I stopped by this morning to tell somebody that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen, somebody, that his word does not change regardless what other folk want to make it sound like. Amen, somebody. The Bible says there's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end therein is death and destruction. There's a way. There's a way. And that way is Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man come up to the Father but by me. That's Bible. Anything other than that is not Bible. Amen, somebody. We stand on Bible. Amen, somebody. His word is a lamp unto our feet and a light of direction to our path. Amen, somebody. His word. And yet in this text, the miracle of Peter and John to this physically challenged man caused them uh, to be arrested. You many of us stop at stop at stop at the miracle at, at, at the temple gate where where he's leaping and he's he's he, he he's he's dancing and he's and he's praising God but but we don't we don't read our Bible further along because I want you to know that it's not an easy task to be a Christian no it's not it, 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 it takes discipline to be a Christian. Paul says, the good I would do, I can't find myself doing because evil is always present. I don't care how good you do, there's always somebody trying to criticize. There's somebody, always somebody that's hating on you. There's always somebody that's always negative. But they can never see the good in you and what God is doing through you. That is the work, amen, somebody, of the devil. And so it is in this text this morning that the Sanhedrin, the captain of the guard, they arrest Peter and John. And uh, they say to Peter and John, by what authority, by what name have you done this work. And Paul, I'm um, pardon me, and Peter in his boldness says, we did it in the name of Jesus Christ of whom you crucified. Listen, in the book of Acts, it is the birth of the early church. The devil, like today, and yesterday wants to silence the people of God in their witness to what Jesus has done. The 13th verse 
of this particular text. And thank you, Ms. Kerr, for reading this lengthy text. Um, but, but we could not have a context without the text. Amen, somebody. And the context of this text is, the 13th verse says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. I want to ask you this morning, when was the last time somebody accused you of walking with Jesus? There's a mirror downstairs, and, 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 and if you look in that mirror, could you ask yourself the question, if I was put on trial for being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to get a verdict? Amen, somebody. Because, I say that because we in this era, in this time, have allowed church to become so watered down and politically correct. Amen, somebody. And acceptable to folk that not say. Amen, somebody. To the point where almost our music sounds like the world music. Our language sounds like the language of the world. Jesus says to be ye separated. Come out of her. For her sins have reached all the way to heaven. Amen, somebody. We are called out people. In the Greek it's called ekklesia, meaning the called out one, that, 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 that you are set aside. I'm set aside to do a work for the Lord Jesus Christ. These people, these, these disciples, Peter and John, they are threatened by the Sanhedrin court. These were the religious priests of that day who were the police of the church. You can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, and you can't do that. But they never did anything. Amen, somebody. They, they walk around praying for hours. Uh, this, this public show of fake worship and these young, these young disciples who ultimately became preachers, Peter and John, they are arrested and they are threatened by these people because, first of all, these are the same people who crucified your Lord and my Savior. These are the same temple gods that went into the Garden of Gethsemane Amen. To 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 arrest Jesus. These are the same ones that went and got Jesus. Are the same ones that went and got Peter and John. And they said they threatened them. They threatened them. They said, "Don't speak of this Jesus." But Paul's boldness said, He is my Lord and Savior. They said, Don't speak of Jesus. He said, Paul says, He is the one that y'all crucified. Uh, but he but he died and rose from the dead. And 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 and, and sometimes, brothers and sisters, some truth don't need any support. You don't have to spend time trying to convince folk, amen, somebody, of, of the truth that you know. Because the Bible tells us that they conspired to figure out how we can silence 
these disciples because they have done no wrong and, and for surely they have created a miracle or they have done a miracle to the point that after the miracle happened, 5,000 souls were saved. The Sanhedrin are worried about now this new movement called the church is pushing this rabbinical synagogue out of the way. And I'm com I come by this morning to tell somebody that God is doing a new thing. Amen, somebody. That God's word is going to be heard in the earth. Amen, somebody. And the reason why we have so much evil in the world, so much political upheaval in the world, amen, somebody, so much uh, 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 rancor and confusion in the world, is the absence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. The absence of the Lord Jesus Christ in our schools. Absence of Jesus Christ on our jobs. The absence of Jesus Christ in our homes. Amen, somebody. That this world is a world full of confusion, war, and pain. But I stopped by this morning to tell somebody, just as these Sanhedrin captains told Peter and John to stop saying those things that would affect people's lives, I stopped by this morning to tell somebody, you ought not stop telling folk about the goodness of Jesus and what he's done for you. Amen, somebody. Listen, listen, the Lord saves us, his blood covers us, but there is a time that goes along with that. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. That's why Peter and John says to the man, at the gate, look on us. Look on us. Maybe Will just maybe. He might have grew up in Westport. Amen. And, 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 and went to Westport Elementary with us. And, and maybe, just maybe, uh, that man uh, 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 and, those, and those disciples, they might have uh, grown apart over the years and and maybe just maybe some of the homeboys went to prison and others went to the army and maybe just maybe that when they got back home years later and they found themselves going back to God's house that they remember that homeboy and they came to a, a conversation between the both of them, isn't that our homeboy from back in the day? He's still in the same condition. Forty years later, and we've been all over the world, and we've done up and down, and we, we've had our good and bad, and, and on parole and free, and discharged from the army and working civil government, but isn't that a homeboy. And he says to him, look on us. I'm not the same that you remember. I, 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 I'm not that same homeboy uh, that you remembered from the street. Look on us. I, I'm not that same homeboy that, that we, 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 we drank and we we, we ran the street and we act a fool, but, but since I met Jesus, amen, somebody, he, he changed my life. Yeah, he gave me a new walk and a, and a new talk. Look on us. And I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but if you are ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are no better than the people who don't know Jesus Christ at all. He saved us to tell somebody of the goodness of the Lord. Amen, somebody. I said, now I say it again. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about this somebody who can save anybody. Amen, somebody. 
It's not about me, it's not about you, but it's about Jesus. That man, somebody. Don't let nobody stop you from your praise, and don't let nobody stop you from speaking about the goodness of Jesus. I, when I go to the airport, uh, they have this uh, uh, a notation that comes over the intercom. If you see something, say something. Amen, somebody. When I've seen what the Lord has done for me, amen, somebody. And I got to tell somebody what he's done for me. Amen, somebody. I've seen the lightning flash. I've heard the thunder roar. Amen, somebody. I've seen him. Amen, somebody. Uh, receive of the blind man's sight. I, I've seen, amen, somebody, this woman uh, with the issue of blood being healed. I, I, I've seen in his word deliverance. I've seen hope. I've seen strength. I've seen what he's done in my life. What has he done in yours? So much. And if he's done anything, the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen, somebody. I said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, of whom he have brought out of the darkness of sin and the muck and mire. Our instruction this morning, out of this text, through, this, through, the, through the move of the Holy Spirit, is to never become silent about what the Lord has done for you and has done for me. Listen, the Lord has done something from each and every one of us. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And we all have a testimony. And all our testimonies don't have to be the same. Amen, somebody. I wish my life wasn't what it was. But Jeremiah said, I knew you in your mother's belly. Amen. I, I knew your beginning from your end. Amen. You, 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 you might have suffered. But I saw the end. Amen, somebody. And that's what the Lord, listen, if you can't trace the Lord, you at least got to trust the Lord. Amen, somebody? You got to trust him. And the truth of the matter is, we have trusted him all of our lives. And in some things he's done for some, and some things he's done for another. But whatever he's done, amen, it's enough for us to give him some thanks. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Listen, I said, I said again. There are those who went to prison, and, and then there, there are some who didn't go. Amen, somebody. There are those who uh, went, to, went away to school and went away to the army and wound up with good jobs, and there were those who were caught in the muck and mire of life. Amen, somebody. And listen, some of us shout, because of, of what the Lord brought us through. And then some of us shout for what the Lord kept us from. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. So whether he kept you or brought you, he brought you to this place to say thank you. Come on, somebody, to say thank you. To say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that no hurt, harm, or danger came to us in the midnight hour. Thank you, Lord, that you've made a way out of no way. Thank you. There's somebody can say he's a lawyer in the courtroom. There's somebody who's been sick who can say he's a doctor. Amen, somebody. There's somebody who can say he's been a bridge over troubled water. There's somebody who can say he's been water when I'm thirsty. Bread when I'm hungry. Somebody can say it. But whatever you can say, don't stop saying it. Because only it was because of him that we have our being. 
the Sanhedrin. They didn't like the fact that these men were saved, nor moving in the spirit. They are those in the world who will not like the fact that you are saved and trying to live and trying to live halfway decent. Amen, somebody. We're not perfect. The Bible says none perfect but the Father. Amen, somebody. I'm not all that I want to be, but I'm not all that I used to be either. Amen, somebody. The Lord is still working on me. The Lord is still working on you. Amen, somebody. Amen. And he's going to be working on us until the day that we see him. This is a work in progress and process. Amen. Amen. So there's no, there's no big eyes and little use. There's no, you know, super spiritual, super holy... Miss me with all that. Every day is a day of getting it right. A day at a time, a step at a time. Amen, somebody? A day at a time, a step at a time. And lift up the name of our Lord. For the Bible says, and Peter tells them, he says, there's no name under the heaven or earth by which a man or woman shall be saved, but by the name of Jesus. God bless you. You may stand all over the church. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I thank God that our soul has been anchored. Amen, somebody. So anchored like a a palm tree in a storm. Palm tree is the only tree that can bend all the way down to the ground in the midst of a hurricane and a tornado and bounce right back. Amen, somebody. Thank God that our soul is rooted in the Lord. Is there one, is there one who does not know Jesus Christ in the pardon of their sin? Is there one? Is there is there, if you're in the ark of safety, stay in the ark of safety. Amen, somebody. Uh, it's not about, it's about a personal relationship with you and the Lord. We have a family relationship in the church, as a church family, but at the end of the day, it's about your personal and my personal relationship with the Lord. Amen, somebody. It's not, it's not, are you married? Are you single? Are you divorced? Are you unemployed? Uh, do you have a job? Who your mama? Who your daddy? Amen, somebody. That don't have nothing to do with salvation. That got everything to do with signifying. Unless you tell folk or ask folk, do you know Jesus Christ? as your Lord and Savior, should nothing else be asked. Amen, somebody? And the Lord will fix everything else. All right, somebody. So what the whole house is saying, let me just see your hands. Amen. God bless you, Lord. God bless you. Let the church say amen, amen, amen. Go in peace and may the peace of God be with you. And have a blessed week in the Lord.